So if you've been anywhere near the Smash community over the weekend, you've seen what's been going down regarding the introduction of two new matchmaking services. Well, kind of new. It's complicated. Today's video is going to be reviewing and comparing these two services, Matchbox and Matchpoint. We'll be going over things that I like and dislike for each platform, as well as giving my thoughts as to how each one can improve. Just a reminder before we begin that if you want to support me monetarily, you can do so by using the links to my Patreon or channel memberships in the description below. With that out of the way, let's actually go over some brief history regarding both of these platforms. Many people have wanted an NA Smashmate for a very long time, as Smashmate is one of the greatest reasons that Japanese Smash is so strong right now. And for a while, all that existed was the closed beta of Smash Pros, which was infamously exclusive, needing a private invite to join it. Not only that, but Smash Pros refusing to go public for so long caused many to doubt that an NA Smashmate could even be possible, and hope began to die. But then, three days ago, a huge announcement was made. First things first, Hungrybox announced that he had paired with Smash Pros, and the platform was renamed to Matchbox. Now, to be perfectly honest with you all, Hungrybox's position in their hierarchy is a little unclear. Is he an owner? Is he running the whole thing? How much authority does he have? Is he just slapping his name on it and not running it at all? To be frank, we really have no idea. But either way, Smash Pros died and Matchbox was born. Coincidentally, at the same time, Matchpoint opened up their private beta to begin testing, allowing the platform to be played for the very first time. And although it is a private beta, the invites to it are way more accessible than the old Smash Pros' beta, with a lot of people getting access. However, to be fair, Matchbox is public and Matchpoint is technically not. So keep that in mind as we move forward in this video. But both platforms have been out for a very short amount of time. Before we can actually get into reviewing the platforms, we do have to briefly mention something that caused a little bit of controversy when both of these platforms were revealed and became operational. The controversy comes from the name Matchbox. You see, for context, both Matchpoint and Smash Pros approached Hungrybox to work on their project, and it was Matchpoint that pitched the name Matchbox, even purchasing a domain for the eventual website Matchbox.gg. This is why the current actual domain is TheMatchbox.gg. The story goes that Hungrybox saw this name that Matchpoint pitched, took that name, and then went with their direct competitors instead. This made quite a lot of people upset, me included, until Hbox made a response that, to be fair, seems pretty reasonable. Basically, Hbox said that Matchbox was a very common suggested name, with it being offered even way before Smash Pros or Matchpoint approached him with their offers. Hbox went on to say that Matchpoint jumped the gun by buying a domain, and that he went with Smash Pros just because they had a beta up already and Matchpoint didn't. And the thing about this response is, well, it's so reasonable. For those of you who are still worried about this though, apparently Hungrybox and Big Duck Hunt fan, the creator and owner of Matchpoint, talked in a voice chat and everything is apparently fine now. So we don't have to really worry about beef, even though I did want to talk about this history. So now that we've covered the history of these two sites, it's time for us to actually review the two of them, go over what I like, what I dislike, and what both platforms can improve on. Let's start by taking a look at Matchbox. If you all remember, back when Matchbox was still called Smash Pros, I created a review on it with eSAM, where we went over everything we liked about the platform. The video's consensus? We liked the platform, but me personally, I was worried about its public release. Even back in the private beta days, the servers had shortages and shortcomings, and I expressed my concerns on whether or not the servers could handle a public release. Since that video was released, a lot more problems with the platform were discovered, especially within the rule set. Namely, the rule set on Smash Pros is only BO3. Fast forward to today, and Smash Pros is now Matchbox, which, by the way, is just what I'll be calling it for the rest of the video, no matter the context, because it's easier. And like I predicted in my old review, Matchbox has had a rough public release. Even with NA and EU servers, the launch has been terrible these last few days, being unplayably laggy. 
Now, to be fair, the team has said that they're working on it, and this is just the rough phase of being publicly available for the first time. But it is something that I have to bring up, as it's definitely been hampering the experience to go through it these past few days. Matchbox has some other flaws as well. It's still BO3, and even though it's running the LMBM rule set, it can be a bit of a pain, with some requesting that they add a feature of running it back instead of bothering with the hassle of bans. And while apparently this, as well as full BO5, is coming in a future update, I can't regard it as part of the platform at the moment. The flaws with Matchbox boil down to BO3 and the fact that the servers are unstable, with the site going down and having to be repaired even while I'm writing the script, and I've gotten around 10 Discord notifications from crashes of the site over just this weekend alone. This was almost the exact thing I was worried about in my first review of the platform. However, there are quite a lot of things that I like about Matchbox. The website has NA servers and EU servers, which I think is a pretty big deal. While the debate for many in NA has been Matchpoint versus Matchbox, if you're in Europe, the choice is really obvious because there's only one. Also, I'm really fond of the addition of an unranked and a ranked mode. When you want to grind out your main, you go on ranked, but if you want to chill with the secondary, go on unranked. It's actually a really nice addition to not have to stress out about ELO rankings. I also really like the leaderboards. While Matchpoint does have a leaderboard, Matchboxes goes far more in depth, with lots of character data and even character specific leaderboards, a really nice addition. But probably the best and perhaps most obvious upside to Matchbox when compared to Matchpoint is that it's public. Anyone can play Matchbox right now at this very moment. And let me tell you, a lot of people are playing it. There are way more people on that site than Matchpoint because Matchpoint is still in a private beta. And lastly, Matchbox is backed by Hungrybox. In that way, it's kind of too big to fail. It's a guarantee that will draw in people who were skeptical about these services. When Matchpoint does become public, people will be looking at two nearly identical services, with one being backed by Hungrybox and one being not backed by Hungrybox. Which one will the average Smash player pick? Probably the one backed by their favorite YouTuber. So now it's time to pivot around and take a look at Matchpoint and take a look at what they're doing better or worse than Matchbox. Now, before we get into it, I have an obvious disclaimer. Matchbox is public, and therefore I can accurately criticize it because it's meant for public consumption as it is right now. But Matchpoint is still in a very private beta. It's not really meant for public consumption yet, so there are some kinks to still work out. However, with that said, let's just get into it. The most obvious benefit that Matchpoint has over Matchbox is the UI. The UI, especially for when you're in a set itself, is gorgeous. It's been compared to a traditional fighting game and I can't agree more. I think the UI looks way better, and especially with Matchbox's servers being held together with strings, the UI is certainly more responsive at the current moment. Matchpoint also has some advantages over Matchbox in the sense that the rule set is all BO5, a far superior rule set by default. And the servers are infinitely more stable, at least right now. Also, something that is quite overlooked by many is the fact that Matchpoint has filters for their queue. You can filter by looking for only players with LAN or only players who have the delay mod. This is an amazing feature that you can use to avoid laggy players and filter exactly who you want to fight. No more little Timmies going off their shoddy Wi-Fi. However, there are a few Matchbox features that Matchpoint lacks and is sorely missing. Firstly, after you finish a set, you can't rematch that same opponent right after. This means that you can't have one big practice session by rematching multiple times, and you have to queue back up, where you'll probably get a different person. This is definitely a sorely missed feature that should be added later on. Less importantly, Matchpoint is missing some of the flashier features of Matchbox, like character data and a character leaderboard. Matchpoint does have a leaderboard, but it's very basic. And while Matchpoint's set UI is beautiful, the actual website design seems a little old-fashioned, at least when compared to Matchbox's. Ultimately though, when comparing the two platforms, we can really boil it down to a simple list. If you use Matchbox, you have more in-depth statistics, more people to fight, and EU servers. If you use Matchpoint, you have the benefits of a cleaner UI, better servers, and a better rule set. All in all, it's more of what you personally value. But with all of this said and done, which service should you choose to spend your time on? Well, to be honest, and this might be a lame answer, 
it just depends. Of course, if you can't get a match point invite, the choice is pretty obvious, as Matchbox becomes your only option. But the fact that Matchbox's servers are so abysmally in need of help means that if you can get into Matchpoint, then that becomes the clear option. Really, the question of which service to use depends on which service you prefer and can access. And as time goes on, the services are only going to become more similar to one another. And you know what? That itself may be the biggest testament to both of these websites. The fact that there is no clear option, no obvious better competitor, shows just how evenly matched they both are. What is very clear though, is that both of these websites will strive to improve in time. Matchbox will fix their servers and become BO5. Matchpoint will become public and add more features. And both websites can coexist as they're meant to be, tools to help us grow and improve in this game. That's going to be it for today's video. Before I go, shout out to my patrons Seth Laster, Frosco333, Logan S, Percy Palm, and my two two patrons Iltis and Diamond Blaze. Additionally, shout out my YouTube members Storm Trooper, Loco Soco, Diarrhea, DJR Jr., Defective, Orangabang, Fana, Boston R, Iltis, and my two two members Mike G and Wu Tang Forever. Additionally, extra special thanks to my tier 3 patron Ocean Man, who says Mr. Mice is sorry for playing Min Min. If you want to support me using any of these methods, links are in the description below. Don't miss tomorrow's video, but until then, I've been Mr. Mice, and thank you all so very much for watching.